At some point, perhaps in the next hour, we could see the beginning of the end of that big, dark gusher of oil that's been tainting the Gulf of Mexico for 85 days. We're standing by for testing to begin on the new cap BP placed on its ruptured wellhead. Over the course of those tests, we should learn if the leak is sealed and the oil is stopped. Even if that happens, there will still be plenty of oil left in the Gulf to clean up, seeing as in Espere has been uh, getting an exclusive look at one of the most high-tech weapons to fight the spill. Ines, tell us what you're discovering. Well, Wolf, over the last several weeks, the EPA has been making daily flights over the Gulf to find out where the oil is. And they're doing this using a technology that wasn't even intended for this purpose, and we were able to get exclusive access to it. It's the newest weapon in the fight against the oil in the Gulf. It's known as Aspect, an EPA plane equipped with infrared and spectrograph technology, originally designed to sniff out weapons of mass destruction. It's now tracking the streaks of oil snaking their way to the beaches and marshes of the Gulf Coast. Long streamers of dark brown, probably about 20, 10 to 20 percent. The EPA started using the plane to test air samples after the Deepwater Horizon explosion in April. But scientists stumbled onto another use. It could see oil in the water much easier than the human eye, distinguishing it from algae or seaweed. Okay, I'm flipping an eye rod. I'll get the speed and direction. But at first, the EPA didn't know how to effectively communicate this information with the Coast Guard and put a temporary halt on its use in some parts of the Gulf. Mississippi Congressman Gene Taylor says he fought to keep the aircraft flying. In the past two weeks, things have gotten substantially better as far as coordination between what's in the air, what's on the ground, getting the skimmers where they need to be, getting every vessel out there engaged in cleaning up and not just pointing out a problem. Using Google Earth, anyone can access the information. The location and size of oil slicks at first took hours to gather and analyze. Now the data is transmitted to the Coast Guard within minutes. You may be over in this area here and you don't know there's oil over here so you have no way of getting over there to it any direction that these guys can can get so they can move their boats into the right area is what makes the thing work a key tool to keep the oil from overwhelming the shore now, right now, the EPA has one plane with this kind of technology. They recently rented another one with the same technology. And the long-term plan, Wolf, is for them to expand the fleet and really expand the use of this technology, Wolf. All right, Ines, good reporting. Ines Foray reporting from the scene.